welcome to chemistry lover and today in this video i am going to talk about apel reactions so there are three main uh, variations of this apel reaction and uh, all of them you will see they share a common feature common reagent so that's why i will discuss all of them together so watch this video till the end to get all the information about apel reaction so let's start our today's topic yeah so this is you can see there are three variation of the apple reaction one is halogenation the second one is cyclization and the third one is oxazolin synthesis or oxazolin ring synthesis and all of these reactions you can see the common reagent is triphenylphosphine and some carbon tetrahalide so cx4 this cx4 represent it can be ci4 or it can be cbr4 or it can be ccl4 yeah so this all these reagents are used uh, for this reaction so the common reagent is triphenylphosphine and carbon tetrahalide right and another common feature which all of this reaction shares is uh, the common OH group you can see in all the substrate there is an OH group right so there is an OH group which will be there now let us discuss the mechanism of this reaction one by one but again all of this reaction they are uh, first step of the reaction is same and that's why i am discussing the first step of the reaction all together so the step is very simple you can see this is our reagent if i look if i just talk about this halogenation reaction you can see this alcohol is there this triphenyl phosphine is there and this uh, carbon tetra chloride is or tetrahalide is there now uh, we need some active reagent because this uh, alcohol it cannot react with either of uh, neither of this uh, triphenyl phosphine nor this uh, C cx4 so we need some active reagent how this active reagent is generated so again you can recall the core fuchs reaction what happens here is so you have this triphenyl phosphine right triphenyl phosphine the phosphorus has lone pair and uh, this cx4 we can write like this now this uh, halogen atom here it is uh, either chlorine bromine or iodine which has vacant d orbital so this triphenyl phosphine with its lone pair it can attack on this x atom it may be chlorine bromine or iodine and now this cx3 departs so from here you get ph3p plus uh, it is x i am representing it as x i am not going to icl or br so it is the active reagent and here the leaving group is cx3 minus and you know cx3 minus is a good living group because this negative charge on the carbon it is actually stabilized by inductive effect of this three halogen atoms right so that's why it is a good living group so you get this active reagent over here now here people do some mistakes they think that this pph3 it can attack on this cx4 on the carbon atom yeah so i have seen this type of mechanisms in several places but it, it is actually wrong okay so you need some active uh, active reagents so halogen x minus is a good living group there is no doubt but this attack is wrong and you need some active reagent that doesn't mean you can attack anywhere Phosph phosphine triphenyl phosphine is a nucleophile it, but it cannot attack anywhere this attack is not possible because due to the presence of three halogen atoms the sigma star orbital here the sigma star orbital is not accessible it is aesthetically very much hindered so this is not the correct mechanism so the correct mechanism is this one which will give you this as the active reagent of your reaction now the so in all these three reactions this is the first step now what happens for this halogenation reaction is very simple so you have this active reagent pph3 cl here you have plus plus on the phosphorus now this uh, oh with its lone pair it can attack over here because it is now activated so this alcohol it can easily attack on here before activation it cannot attack on triphenyl phosphine after activation it can attack and if this attack occur you will get this pph3 plus over here uh, sorry here you will get this O PPH3 plus and the leaving group here is the Cl minus. So actually I should write is at X as X. Yeah. So X minus. X minus is the leaving group. Now what happens? This X minus it comes here and it will attack on this carbon. So this will go and you will get 
this alkyl halide here and the leaving group is if you recall the Wittig reaction the same leaving group right triphenyl phosphine oxide and indeed this uh, this PO double bond it, it has a tremendous energy and this this bond is so stable that's why this goes as the leaving group so this uh, particular part it makes this OH minus which was a bad leaving group you can imagine nucleophilic substitution cannot occur on this OH group because OH is a very bad leaving group but the combination of OH with this triphenyl phosphine makes it, it as a good leaving group because this uh, compound is very much stable this bond is ha having high bond energy it makes this as a good leaving group and now halogen X minus which is not that much good as a leaving group it even it is not that much good it can attack because the leaving group here is now very good so this is how the halogenation reaction occurs now if you uh, if you follow this mechanism you can easily tell what should happen for the cyclization reaction so in case of cyclization reaction in similar way in the first step this ppa is 3 plus it comes here in a similar fashion this oh will attack on the ppa 3 and it will form this and now this nitrogen lone pair it will attack over here and this will go as triphenyl phosphine oxide uh, like the previous way and you will get this cyclized product the third mechanism that is the oxazoline ring formation that is slightly different but again the basic principle is same in the first step you will get the activated uh, phosphone and now you have this this uh, carboxyl uh, sorry this uh, carboxylic acid so here you have this ppa is 3 x yeah so this carboxylic acid can attack over this so this will generate uh, this o ppa is 3 plus so now it is become very much electrophilic because it has positive charge over here so it will drag electron from here and this center becomes very much electrophilic so what our reagent here is this one so we have this oh and this nh2 and between nh2 and oh you know that nh2 is a far better nucleophile so nh2 will attack over here and this will go as triphenyl phosphine oxide so as a leaving group you will get pph3o triphenyl phosphine oxide and out of that you will get this o nh yeah so here you have this so in the first step you will get this now again you have remaining oh group so what happens is uh, here you have this pph 3 cl or pph 3 x i can write pph 3 plus x so this oh will attack over here so from here you will get this o and this n h yeah so here now you have you are having a good leaving group so now what happens this nitrogen lone pair will push and it can attack over here so this will go as a leaving group and you will get this as your product you can see from here you will get this product and this pph 3 uh, as pph 3 o triphenyl phosphine oxide as your leaving group so this is how this reaction occurs uh, this is the oxazoline this is called oxazoline ring and this is the mechanism of the oxazoline ring formation through apple reaction now uh, here it is interesting to note that the last step of this reaction can have an alternative pathway so what can be the pathway so instead of uh, this attack this oh is attacking over this active species instead of this attack another attack can happen so you have this amide part over here and uh, this OH so now you can see this is also possible that uh, this nitrogen push lone pair and this carbonyl group attacks over here so this is how this position is now activated O PPH 3 plus now this position is activated yeah OH and this OH now it can attack over here so if this open close and this can go 
right and you will get the same product you can see this is one two three four five again the same product you can get so both are possible either this oxygen can be activated or this can be activated but either way you will get the same product so that's all this is about the uh, apples reaction i hope that you enjoyed the video if you like this video give a thumbs up and if you are not a subscriber of this channel subscribe this channel for getting more videos like that thank you for watching